Hello students, today we are going to see about Fourier transform of x of t equal to e power minus 2t u of t. So, we know that the Fourier transform formula that is which is represented by f of x of t which is nothing but x of j omega which is given by minus infinite to infinite x of t e power minus j omega t dt. Okay. So, before applying in this formula let us simplify the given expression. So, here u of t is given what is u of t? u of t value is 1 for t greater than or equal to 0. So, wherever you have u of t just replace it by 1. So, e power minus 2 t into 1 but the whole thing exists only for t greater than or equal to 0. So, using this instead of writing minus infinite to infinite I can write the limit as 0 to infinity. Why? Because t exists only for t greater than or equal to 0 that is t value varies from 0 to infinite. So, 0 to infinite what is x of t? e power minus 2 t into e power minus j omega t dt. Okay. So, again in the integration right the limit is infinite right. So, we need to take exponential term properly that is if we take e power t term ok if we substitute infinite it becomes e power infinite which is nothing but infinite. So, we should not take like this instead take e power minus t. So, that if we substitute infinite what happens e power minus infinite becomes 0 ok. So, we should not get infinite term at all. So, we should always get 0 term ok. So, always whenever you have exponential term we should simplify such that ok e power minus t is outside. So, whenever e power minus t is outside what happens this becomes 2 plus j omega ok into dt. Now, apply the integration formula. So, integration of e power minus a t dt is e power minus a t by minus a. So, using that I can write that e power minus t 2 plus j omega ok divided by t coefficient minus of 2 plus j omega ok. Apply the limits what are all the limits 0 to infinite ok. So, now apply the limits what happens e power minus you have infinity into any value is infinite e power minus infinite divided by minus of 2 plus j omega ok. Now, again lower limit when we apply a lower limit already you have one minus now minus into minus will become plus. So, wherever I have t just replace it by 0. So, e power minus 0 into any value is 0 so divided by 2 plus j omega ok. So, already we know that e power minus infinity is a 0 e power minus 0 is 1 ok. So, this whole term becomes 0 and this term becomes 1 ok. So, what happens x of j omega left hand side term right x of j omega is given by 1 by instead of writing 2 plus j omega let me write j omega plus 2 ok. So, this is the Fourier transform of e power minus 2 t u of t ok. So, I can write that Fourier transform of e power minus 2 t u of t is 1 by j omega plus 2 ok. That is all. Thank you. Thanks for watching.